Okay, today I will be doing a detailed video on the DB Power Digital Multimedia Portable Video Player. Um, the video player itself, it's not just a DVD player. It can also uh, read things from your SD card or USB drive stick. And I will show you that here in a little bit. Uh, it comes with a couple of different features. First being it does have a remote. The remote sensor is on the front of the DVD player. So if you plan to use a remote, um, you just have to make sure that it's facing towards the front of the DVD player. But the DVD player itself does have the same uh, commands on the DVD player itself. So you necessarily don't need the remote, but it is a nice feature to have. Uh, here is your a uh, your wall charger. It comes with a wall charger and a car charger, so it's pretty universal. Um, and then also some extra cables for you to use if, say, you want to plug it up to the TV for a uh, bigger video. But on the uh, the side of the DVD itself, side of the DVD player here, or rotate it around. So you have your USB port, your SD card slot, earphone plug, AV out. Uh, as we were discussing earlier, if you want to plug it up to a bigger TV, AV in if you want to bring uh, videos or pictures into it to watch it on here. Or you can, uh, it does have a copying feature, which is very nice. On and off switch, and then your power plug. The DVD player itself, as you can see, it's not plugged in, but it is on. Um, it does take six hours to charge, and on a fully charged battery, it should last for about three hours. I've already inserted a DVD for this video, but to insert one, you would basically uh, hit this button here. This lid would pop open, and you just insert a DVD. Uh, it does have two front mounted speakers, one on each side. And the screen itself can rotate 180 degrees, and it's very stiff. So I have to take put the phone out for a second to kind of show you um, a little bit how it moves. Actually, I might use my foot to hold it. Let's see. So it's very sturdy and stiff, which is very nice. So if you're basically going down a road and it's bumpy, it won't like close on you while you're trying to watch it. But basically, if you're rotating clockwise, it will rotate a full 180 degree turn. So full 180 degrees rotating clockwise. If you rotate it counterclockwise, you you get 90 degrees. So basically, if you go the other way, that's as far as it'll go. It'll still lean back and forth, um, but you basically get a, a whole 180 clockwise and 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation out of the DVD player by itself. Okay, so as I mentioned before, the remote is always a very nice thing to have. It has the same features it has the same features um, as on the DVD itself which is a lot more convenient so I'm just going to use this instead so basically the if you can see here there's an SD USB button and basically if you had an SD card or USB drive inserted which I will insert one now just to show you what that would look like so I've inserted it. That's the DVD I had inserted, uh, testing it out earlier. I would just hit the SD USB button here. You see it's already starting to read for it. And there you go. There's some pictures that I had on the USB drive earlier. So if you were showing pictures to families and friends, uh, you can throw it in real quick just to get a quick glimpse to show everybody. And then I would also take this, which is the red, yellow, and white cables basically that comes with it. You would plug it in here, and I'll show you in a minute. Plug it in into your um, AV out cable, and it'll uh, be able to go into a bigger screen. But just the, the switch back, switch back to the regular DVD. I just hit the button there. Hit the same SD USB button and it's going to switch back to DVD and it keeps the memory for you so it'll save your spot um, as you can see on the DVD it does have closed caption option so you can uh, add closed caption I mean closed caption subtitles and that button you can turn it on and off right basically here it says subtitles and it turns that on and on 
your OSD button. If you use that, then basically some people like to know how long they've been watching the title, how much time the title has left, how much time in the chapter you watch, and how much time in the chapter you have left. That's your OSD button. That's what that basically does for you. And then you have a title button. And that basically will take you back to the main screen. I mean, that's basically when you first insert a DVD. You can always hit return. I hit return. You hit the return button, which is located right here. And it went right back to where the movie was at. And the same thing with the menu button. The menu button, which is down here on the bottom, if you press that, will take you to the disc menu. And again, if you messed up and you just want to go back, you just hit the return button again back to the DVD. Um, other features that are available, it has a zoom button. This was my camera focus. There you go. Zoom and slow. So the zoom has a couple of different features. Uh, you got your two, you got your three, you got your four, and then you got a half zoom, a third zoom, a fourth zoom, and then back to regular. And your slow, you get half speed, quarter of a speed, eighth of a speed, 16th of a speed back to half and so, regular and the slow speed goes both in forward and reverse when you're using it it first does forward then it does reverse in those steps those same steps GOTO is go to so if you want to go to a certain uh, screen or title you can hit that and cycle through that and new a b if you want to watch a certain part of the DVD back to back, like say if I just wanted to keep watching this, and then I hit it again, and this it'll just keep cycling back and forth, back and back and forth, back and forth constantly. If you were trying to catch something certainly, or you just want to see a certain part over and over for a little bit, and you hit it again, the A B button and it cancels and it continues with regular. As far as all the other buttons, they're pretty basic. You have your volume controls. You have your skip buttons, your fast forward buttons. So obviously there's your title skip, there's your fast forward buttons, your mute buttons where it's about repeats, and different numbers for typing different titles. Um, again, a very nice DVD player, and I'll show you here in a second what it looks like once it's plugged in with the uh, the cables. Give me one second. Okay, as I stated before, so I've already done it, but I plugged, I plugged it in, I know the lighting is very bad, the AV out port, and then plugged it directly into the TV, red, yellow, white, and as you can see, it mirrors, I'm sorry, it mirrors the same screen or DVD player and basically I can just hit play here on the DVD player and now and now basically it's playing on the big screen I muted it just uh, so the conversation keep going, but I it's playing on a big screen, and there's no real reason to have two screens up. So you can hit this TFT off button, and it'll turn your DVD player off. But now, now you got your your big screen plan, and but it's playing from DVD player from the port. Um, same thing if you were to use it with the remote. So same thing if I'm using it from remote here, hit play. Plays, pause, pause. Even with the screen off, it's still responding. I can switch back to that SD card, and now I'll be able to have um, pictures on the big screen. Like if I was going to show family at Thanksgiving or any holidays um, that people might celebrate. So it, it's a nice little feature. It's very nice. Um, again, nice DVD player. Very compact. Very good design. Very lightweight. And uh, again, the battery life is about three hours on a full charge. Hope you enjoyed the video.